It's time to fire this thing up. this really deep spider crack here in the splash well, okay, on the Boston Whaler. Well, that's going to be outside where the sea deck is eventually going to be fitted into this boat. And I want to introduce you to the owners of the craft, okay? This is my neighbor. This is Dennis and his wife, Aloalani. And Dennis was kind of concerned about maybe some water getting down into the foam and that's why I was saying hey can you at least fix those I know the sea deck is going to cover a lot of the spider cracks in the molded and gel coat but uh, you're kind of worried about that yes yes okay so what I want to do I, I need your permission first off to trailer it over to my boat shop absolutely all right and that's where I have all the tools and the gel coat and everything else and also guys you know this gel coat's pretty aged and we're gonna be putting in new gel coat, and this can be kind of tricky to color match, and we're gonna do the best we can, but I'm not gonna guarantee an absolute perfect match. We'll do the best we can. Fine. Okay. But basically, we need to use a burbot, either with a Dremel tool or with a high-speed pan piece, and we need to kind of dish this out a little bit so that we can kind of open it up, and we'll wipe it out with some acetone, and we're going to color match the gel coat. We'll put in a sanding aid, and that's what's gonna get the gel coat to cure. And we need a thickening agent that isn't going to have any holes in the surface, okay, any mm -hmm. porosity. So we can use cabosil or colloidal silica, all right? And we're gonna thicken that up. And we're going to wipe in a paste. Now after that cures, we'll hand sand it using 100 grit dry paper, all right? Wipe it again with the acetone. And then we're gonna do a little bit of wet sanding in these areas around the boat. Now, we also should probably do a little compounding in here. You've got some oxidation yep. that we need to kind of bring the boat back a little bit. But right now, you guys are going to see kind of a couple of different versions of the sea deck and how the boat's gonna look once it's complete. But guess what, before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working right here along the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange, with again the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be pulling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. Ship Shape TV, the world leader in boat improvement, is being brought to you in part by the high-tech, low-maintenance Evinrude E-Tech. Evinrude, spend more time on the water. By Sunbrella Performance Marine Fabrics, shading boats and boaters for over 50 years. We've got you covered, Sunbrella. And by Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics. Traditional non-skids can be hard, slippery, or brittle. Need a solution? Stick it with Sea Deck, the comfortable EVA foam alternative with easy peel and stick application. If you have a boat and you have a need for Sea Deck, the wetter it gets, the better it grips. Sea Deck is your answer for replacing smelly, worn carpet. It also covers unsightly spider cracks, dings, stains, and all other gel coat imperfections, making your boat look like new. Sea Deck, comfort you need, traction you trust. Welcome back. This is a real working 28-acre boatyard slash boat building facility residing in Stewart, Florida. It's ShipShape TV's home base, ideally located. The complex is situated on the shores of the Okeechobee Waterway, which happens to connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Now once again, here's the founder and host of ShipShape TV, John Graviscus. Thanks, Buck. This is my neighbor's 13-foot Boston whaler, and I've been helping him kind of modernized the boat. We put on a new engine and he's since taken out the seats, the side console, and he pointed out some areas in this molded in non-skid that really need to be addressed. Now this is a boat of caliper, okay? These older whalers, these older Bertrands pursuits, they're very nice boats to hang on to rather than buying new. And we could grind out this non-skid, we could put in fiberglass, we could re-gel coat, we could even repattern this molded in non-skid, but I'm telling you that would take a lot of time, weeks and weeks and weeks of work.
Now there is an alternative, and my neighbor saw this man's product on my show before, and I want to introduce you to everybody. This is Chuck Yates. Hi, Chuck. Hey, John. And Chuck is one of the owners, as well as the vice president of sales for a company called Hyperform. And you're up around the uh, Rockledge area yeah, correct. In, in, in Florida. This is kind of around the Orlando, Cocoa Beach area, you know, up there. And you make this product, Hyperform makes C-Deck. And I've shown before how you can put this on to like aluminum seats and have padding as well as traction. Very nice. You can also put this over top of center consoles and, you know, we've shown the world, you know, that. But a lot of people might not realize that you could actually put this in for new flooring and really beautify your boat and not spend a lot of money, not spend a lot of time Correct. on it. Okay. And you offer these templating kits, and that's what I want to get into here, Chuck. How would we go about templating this so that we could send you some type of pattern so that you can make us a nice, beautiful floor? Well, John, we offer one, two, and three piece template kits. They consist of uh, mylar sheets, as you're holding, and this one right here, a Sharpie highlighter, and also instructions on how to do this. Real okay. simple process. Now, he's removed all of the seats. He's removed the side console. But we still have some hardware. I don't know if you can see that right here. These are, these are tie downs for the actual fuel tanks, OK? Do we need to remove any hardware that's into the deck prior to starting the templating process? Yes, John, we want to remove any hardware that's mounted. We want to get a nice flat area to put the uh, templates down. OK, so once that's done, what do we do with the Mylar? What we'll do is we'll lay it out. We'll work from the existing non-skid that we have in the boat. As you can see, we'll just roll it out. We'll cover about an inch on the back, an inch on the side here. We'll tape it down here. Now, obviously, this is an 80-inch sheet of Mylar. We've got about 45 inches here. We're going to rough trim on the other side here, approximately one inch past the, uh, the non-skid that's molded in. Tape that down. That's piece number one. OK, so, so these sheets, they're 80 inches long and they're what 40, 40 inches, inches wide, wide okay so so how many of these rolls of mylar would we need for a boat this size a 13 foot boat we're going to need uh, need to use a three-piece kit how much would that run me as a consumer uh, it's 19 dollars but the really cool thing is is once you do this you send it in us we digitize it create a drawing for you you approve the drawing and order the product we'll refund you the 19 dollars to your refund price of the kit okay so the kit virtually it doesn't cost you anything that's free 